Sir Patrick Stewart, welcome to Classic FM. Thank you, Maura. I am delighted and happy to be here. As you know, I just shouted out before we began recording, I love being back in England. <laughs> and it's raining today. You are a real, no. yes, indeed. So I'm lucky to be here. <laughs> Well, obviously, the spoken word is very important to you. But what about music? What did classical music, when did it start to feature in your life? The first music that I heard was in my school hall with this small little orchestra, um, Edward Grieg, um, Pierre Gint, in the Hall of the Mountain King, ah. is the piece that I... Maybe not the first I heard, but the force first that I witnessed being played. But... I am not a musician. I have pretended to play almost every instrument there is in film or on stage. I, I even played a concert pianist in a film called Coda where I played a classical musician yes. whose wife had died and he had stopped playing because he was so depressed. Um, and so, uh, but then he, he, he survives and revives and plays a lot and um, th they shot it brilliantly. Yes. And I watched hours of tapes of, the, I mean, pianists from the 1920s uh, and uh, to watch their bodies and what they did. And very often the camera would shoot just above their hands and so you would get this, <laughs> you know. And, and uh, I loved doing that so much. And, but I couldn't play a single one. I blown a trumpet, I played a harp, uh, couldn't play. But um, I listened to the Mozart, yes. uh, the piano concerto, one evening, and in the second movement, which is a beautiful, quiet movement, there is a passage which, which goes, <clears throat> excuse me, pa-pum, 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 well, I taught myself to play it. Not all of it. That's where there's a part of it. I couldn't do that. But I can play the first few bars of the Mozart 21st Piano Concerto, and it is exquisite. Sir Patrick, every good boy deserves favour. What makes that special to you? It's, it's uh, a well-known saying, every good boy deserves favour, and it's known as EGBDF, which is what our show was called. And it, it uh, was about two prisoners in a Russian mental hospital. It was a very, very serious play, and it starred Ian McKellen and uh, Ian Richardson, and they were both brilliant in it. I played um, a... Because uh, it was, a, it was a, a mental hospital prison, I played one of the senior doctors, mm -hmm. and I was in charge of these two men, so we had conversations. Um, but I was also an amateur musician, and because with the play, which was written by Tom Stoppard, there was music written by Andre Previn. Oof, yes. And at the first performances, Andre Previn conducted the orchestra, who just happened to be the London Symphony Orchestra, and I was a member. So I was in, the, they hid me away in the second violins. And, um, <laughs> but I took classes in, in, in how I would play. And I looked at where heads went and occasional looking at all that kind of thing, you know. And, um, and I was never introduced to the audience. I was just there in the thing playing. And I used to walk on stage when the other musicians walked on stage. And then um, I got a solo. And there came a moment when I was sitting in my office, I'd been talking to one of the patients, and Andre Previn went, and it was me, and I had a solo. Oh. And I played this. Oh. And it's been a favorite ever since. Yeah. 